If you're growing cannabis, it's essential that you control the pH level of your soil. If pH levels are incorrect, the plant's ability to absorb nutrients is significantly reduced, leading to poor growth and lower yields. But what exactly is pH? And how can we test and control the pH in our plant soil? In this video, I'll demonstrate the best method for testing soil and go over the key factors that you'll need to keep in mind. Let's get into it. The pH scale measures how acidic or alkaline a substance is. The scale ranges from 0 to 14. A pH of 7 is neutral. While cannabis is highly resilient and can handle various growing conditions, pH balance is one of the most crucial factors for healthy growth and must be properly maintained. Before we start to test our soil, it's important to know the optimal pH levels for each stage of growth. During the vegetative state, we'll want to aim for a pH level of 6.0 to 6.5, with some strain-specific variances leaning toward the higher end. During the flowering stage, the pH level should be between 6.5 and 7.0 for optimal nutrient uptake. Keep in mind that if you are using hydroponics, pH tends to be slightly more acidic, typically between 5.5 and 6.8. But today, we will be demonstrating how to test soil, which should always remain within a range of 6.0 to 7.0. So, with our optimal levels in mind, let's begin testing our soil. First, we'll need to gather our materials. You'll need a pH meter or strips, distilled water, a clean container, and your soil sample. Also, these pH buffers are good to have if your pH levels are out of balance. Make sure that your pH meter is calibrated before starting. These devices will come with a manual for how to calibrate them. The most practical approach to measuring pH is testing the runoff water, as this is the most accurate way to understand the plant's environment. Water is the vehicle for pH, and measuring runoff gives insight into the plant's root health. This means that we will need to mix our soil with some water to get a proper measurement. Let's begin by collecting a soil sample. You'll want to dig a couple of inches beneath the surface to get the soil near the roots. Now, you're gonna wanna mix one part soil with two parts distilled water in a clean container. Now, stir the jar to create a slurry. Let the mixture sit for about 15 to 30 minutes to stabilize. In the meantime, make sure that your pH reader or pH strips are ready to go. Now that you've waited, turn your pH meter on and submerge it into the soil water mixture. Make sure you fully submerge it, but don't touch the bottom. Once the reading appears, note the value and be sure to clean off your pH reader device. And that's it. We've successfully tested the pH of our soil. So is your soil at the proper pH level? If it's not, you'll need to use a pH balancer, such as pH up or pH down, which are widely available online. These solutions can be mixed into your water to adjust the pH to reach the optimal level. Make sure to add it in very small amounts and continue testing until you get it just right. Finally, here are a couple bonus tips to keep in mind. Your first pH test should be done when you're selecting which soil to use to ensure that it falls within the correct range. If the soil you selected has a pH level above 7, then you'll need to use a pH balancer before adding the soil to your grow. It's also important to remember that the pH of your feeding water can also affect the soil pH. So make sure to test your feeding water as well and balance as needed to ensure that it doesn't offset your soil. Testing pH levels can sound complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. And if you want the best possible yields for your cannabis plants, then these steps are crucial. For more cannabis tips and tricks, follow ILGM. Happy growing.